Happy Wednesday guys, welcome to a brand new video. We played this game a long time ago. We played Home Alone and now the newest episode of Fears to Fathom has come out. Now actually, this is a horror game that isn't generally scary, but because it's based on real life situations, which kind of get me more than, you know, like demons or like spiritual stuff, right? This scares me a little bit more. Now I'm not saying I'm not gonna be jumping out of my seat or anything, but it, it is, you know, it, it might, oh. I have to buy it, damn it. All right, well that was $3 I didn't want to spend today, but regardless, we're gonna play the second uh, episode of Fears to Fathom, with, which is Norwood Hitchhike. Now I can only imagine we're hitchhiking through the woods or maybe we pick up a hitchhiker and damn, this episode's 40 minutes. Okay, it's gonna be a long one, guys. If you have any stories to share, please send it to Fears to Fathom Stories. That's also cool. I really like that they're gonna like take other people's stories and put them in to um, their own game, which I think they should if they're not traumatized by that. Imagine having to replay your traumatized horror thing that happened to you. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out uh, for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some, some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on uh, interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. All right. So, so this is actually someone's, someone's thing. Oh, I can actually drive here. Okay. Don't no. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna slow down, and we're gonna we're gonna read our messages. Stuck in the biggest traffic uh, jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's uh, people from the convention. That's why I'm rerouting it. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, dad, drive uh, safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. Okay, we're a girl. You got it, Dad. Anything else? No, I'm leaving. Drive safe. Okay. How do I close this? Okay. Why would I get out? Why would I get out, bro? I'm vibing. But this song is kind of... Hopefully it's not copyrighted. I crashed into that. <laughs> I probably should have crashed into it. Bro, there's no reason. I don't see any traffic, Holly. I don't know what you're talking about. We chilling. Bro, I'm looking at my rear view mirror and I'm so terrified a face is gonna show up. Got stuck in a jam. Are we, are we in a jam, bro? Are we actually Holly, or are we the serial killer that is just texting using Holly's phone? I kind of want to see what happens when we crash and just, oh, I'm out of fuel, bro. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, that's never a good feeling, bro. Always bring a friend, dude. Oh, like an acquaintance or something, bro. To, if you're going alone on acquaintance, or going on, alone on a trip. I you talk too much now you fucked up. I would never think you thought that you locked up. At the same time, I know it's on number wasn't the town waste the premise it is. You blame all the weed that was too late. Wait, this flow's kinda hot though, actually. They got me planned a few fails and the tip sales for you, and I'm sorry for the shit that I did. I ain't perfect. I hope shit works, but I spent too much time crying alone in the kitchen with my phone. You were distant. Hoping you did a step further. You wish that I fathered your dead child. And maybe it's me and I'm sorry. Uh oh. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gas here. Could I have gotten out at any point in this game? Oh, bro, I'm actually kind of, kind of nervous. <laughs> Wait a second, I could have actually gotten out at any point. Bro, some someone's gonna be in my car. Hello? Oh, hello, sir. Okay. Ooh. 
I don't feel too bad now. There's there's people here. How's it going, bro? Get an ice cream now. I remember. Do these still exist in gas stations, dude? I remember seeing all the awesome flavors as a kid. Uh, Holly? Yeah, mom. <laughs> That's my response, bro. <laughs> Would you stare at up, bro? Mom? Hey, yo, bro, you stay back, man. You buy whatever, I don't want any problems. Okay. I need some gas, bro. Alright, can I get 10 on pump 2? Ellipses. The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Why? What happened? I can't click. I just like frozen. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Thanks, bro. I, you know, I really appreciate you telling me this when really all you had to say is just be careful. Well, thanks for the gas. Can I use the toilet? Okay, I'm just. Thanks for the gas, bro. I don't, I don't need to pee, bro. I, I'll piss in my car. Where'd that bitch go? Oh. I'm sorry I called you that. I, that, that swung out, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I talk to you? Bro, what if this guy- this guy has the face of the Norwood Valley Monster, man. And we're about to ask him if he's heard of the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? <laughs> Big mistake. Oh, bro, I knew it! I knew it, you're him! And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Wait, okay, so is this someone's actual experience here? And like this guy at the gas station was telling her all this stuff or are we just trying to build it up in the environmental atmosphere? Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road, putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. Okay. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up, sir! Sir, what are you doing? Sir. Sir. What'd you just- she- Bro. He slashed my tires. He slashed my tires. Mom, I don't know if you'll find any shop this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you- No, screw you. I'm trying to live here. What'd they freaking do? Do I have a flashlight? What'd you do? What'd you freaking do? Okay. You know what? We're still low on gas. Is it really therapeutic for me? I don't think so. What? 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 Hey! I'm being dragged to hell! <laughs> oh my god, no! They already got me! Well, that's pretty. I should have parked right here, bro. I should have parked right here. You know, I'm gonna talk to this guy again and just see see what he does, huh? How's your night going, bro? He just looked at me, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. All right, we'll 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 talk about the girl again just to make sure. Yeah, okay. Look, now we maybe set up something. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I don't see the guy. Oh, there he is. And he runs away before I can even catch him, bro. Excuse me, sir, sir. Sir? What were you doing in my car? Sir? Sir? Oh my gosh, bro. It's a white van too, dude. You know we're screwed. Okay. Um, now that I know... I think he stole gas. I'm pump two. Hold up. Do I actually have to pump my gas somehow? Wait, two. This is pump two. My car was parked a little too far at first. I don't know if it's on the right or left. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. Oh, now we actually got- I was about to drive off the first time, dude. Let's go. Fuel up. Achievement unlocked, bro. We're smart. We're smart players. That's right. Oh. She's serious? She won't let me go? I'm watching everyone, bro. Where's that one guy? Where's that one guy? Hello. I'm back. Hello. Looks like you got a lot of milk. Ooh, a lot of beer, too. Hey, excuse me. I'm just gonna go to the dog food aisle. Um. I don't know what this is. Yo, bro. F your store, man. I'm taking all this. Ooh, this looks like dog food. Alright. How's it going, sir? I'd like to buy this dog food. Five dollars, man. Pay. That's cheap for dog food. Dang. Not a huge bag, but... Hey, hey, hey. Want some dog food? Dumbass. Don't try and scare me. I got a big pound of dog food I'll throw at you. Make me do it again. I'll look at my car, make sure no one's here. Okay. How'd the music get all creepy? Throw in the trunk? What's in the trunk? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly in there. <laughs> alright, it's alright. Milo will be fine. Not a big deal. Alright, so we are not supposed to pick up any hitchhikers, which I'm totally down for. Um, now, the only problem I have being on the road, you do realize a thing. Don't eat monsters truly do exist. Yeah, fair enough, bro. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh, God. Mom, are you a monster? Okay, hold up. I don't want to... Because another car can kill me, so I'm not going to text and drive here. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas- Yes, seriously, who has dog food at a gas station, bro? If there was, I wouldn't buy it from there, man. Oh. Oh. Why would we- Okay. My lights turned back on. I can't see anything. Ugh. I'm gonna take this nice and slow, bro. That- The, mi the mirror right there, man, is making a lot- why is the music getting like that? No. What do you do to my lights? What'd that bastard do to my lights? Can we change the station, dude? This is really eerie. Okay, okay, look, a nice car we can Wait, is there one behind me, bro? They're gonna they're gonna choke me in. This is the bridge. Hello, sir. Sir. Sir, I need your lights! Where'd he go? Holy crap, I can't see anything. How far? Gee, are they gonna make me drive for 30 minutes, bro? This game said it was 40 minutes, man. What is this ground? What is this? This is the bridge. This is the bridge. The bridge is a little small for uh, a two lane road, is it not? Unless we got Fiat's. Okay. Other than just the radio being bad. Driving is therapeutic for me at night. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. Why do I feel like we're going into nowhere, man? Okay. Slow down. Slow down. The light's gonna come back on. I'm gonna see a white person. Not, not a white per- like a person dressed in white, the- the prom girl, you know what I mean. Well, I mean, this- This is more of a driving simulator than a horror game right now, but this is very beautiful moonlight. We did see a bunny in a car there. I'm... Is something chasing me? Did- did the bunny just make a growling noise at me? The bunny just get eaten by something? No turn left, so don't go left. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh no. No, 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 no. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. 
Bro. Bro, we're not we're backing up, man. We're backing up. We ain't we ain't doing that. Okay, bro. This is never do this. Never get out of your damn car. Yep. Someone has deliberately put those there. Okay, my dog food will protect me. What am I supposed to do? Why would the trunk open? Can I do something? Something about these games with bad graphics be very terrifying, even though the people are rendered to be really not that creepy. They're still very creepy. Okay, it looks like I can go on the right side there. I'm gonna take my trusty dog food. Close that. Yeah, okay, I can't go on the right. Oh, I can walk over it. So why would I be walking? Shouldn't have left the car behind, had to move logs. You're telling me I can lift these? Well, I guess I never thought about that. Yeah, one sec, let me put my dog food back in here. All right. Well, if you're saying I can lift these, Holly, you are one crazy gamer. Nice job, Holly. Damn. Why wouldn't they kill me here, though? I heard rustling, bro. I heard rustling in the bushes. What are you doing? I'm not, like, log, go over here. <laughs> Why is it moving on its own? <laughs> Stop! Push this way! Oh, screw it. You gotta push it like that. Good enough, let's go. Oh. What'd they do? What'd they do? I didn't mean to. And just like that, I was standing in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Bro, don't be doing that shit. Don't be doing that. But I would be lying if I didn't say, if I say I didn't feel slight unease. Of course, bro, you're in the middle of nowhere with nothing but dog food to eat. I don't mean to make the- oh, I, sh I didn't read that. Uh, throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh shoot. Is a car gonna come? But at that moment I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh, okay. 10.23 PM. Well, it's not even that late. Okay. You gotta be thinking it was like 1 a.m. Wait, what? When was the time? How long were we actually waiting here? I saw a car nearing. Hey! Hey! Dick! Pure evil. Yeah! I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being tra trapped like that. Just. Someone please pick me up, man. I mean, I, dude, if I someone, this is a trap though. That That's what's crazy about it. People that sit right here and pretend to be stranded and then like get into a car and, you know, rob people, kill people, do whatever. It, it's crazy. I wouldn't stop for someone either. Like I'd maybe call the police and say, hey, someone's stranded here. But, hey, anyone want to help with my trusty dog food? Help, I need to feed my dog. Hello? Hello, sir, please stop. Sir, please stop. Sir. Oh God, oh. Sir, sir. Bro, I don't like this. Okay, whoever you are. I have Pat Pat. It's a very heavy breed of dog food. I will throw it at you.
Hello? You're the girl from the Oh no, is this the guy or is this the gas station guy? Hi. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no uh, phone service either. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Yeah, just the nearest stop where I can call for help, bro. Hop in. Thank you so much. Uh, could you wait till I get my stuff? Throw it in the back and won't be here for too long. Okay. Appreciate it. Is he just gonna steal all my stuff if I try and go back for every single part? Alright, and just my trusty hat. And then we're good to go, sir. The other guy had glasses, right? Is this the gas station person, or is this... It's got... It, apparently it's gotta be the, uh... Gotta be the guy that was creeped out. It's a big mistake. Okay. Apparently it's not gonna let me hold the... Frick. Okay, I think we're okay. Don't let anything fall out, alright? You done? Need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Can you help me get my stuff? Not a bad idea, guys. Look, you can be evil here. Get, help him get his stuff, make him carry everything, and then steal his car. I'm done. Hop in, be quick. Okay. I, I, honestly, I'd sit in the back. Oh my god, I'd sit in the back. I don't feel safe whatsoever. Oh no, it's glasses guy. Okay, is there a weapon I can use? No. Gosh, Holly, why are you such an idiot? So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh, yeah, I'd rather not say, bro, if you say so, yeah. Like, bro, you said big mistake. You, you just looked at me, you wouldn't talk to me. Why should I tell you anything, bro? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's pretty old. Uh, someone definitely tampered with it. But you're not the person that did it unless you're part of a team! Are you part of a team, bro? This is a team effort. What, do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh... I, I listened. Okay. I mean, yeah, you kind of creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So, is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things... And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't uh, be bothered. Okay. Yeah, maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe he's actually a nice guy, huh? Maybe maybe he lost his fiance to these monsters down here. And he just doesn't want to talk about it. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You know, okay! Alright, redemption arc, bro. Redemption arc. I, you know what? I'm okay. Thank you. I appreciate you, sir. I don't even know your name. I still don't trust you, but, you know. If something happens, I won't push you down and run for myself. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Very, very long black screen here. Gonna fill in the time of just talking. Well, oh wait, we've been on the road for two hours almost. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Sir, I'm gonna be honest with you. Can I just. Could you just drive me home? Wait a minute. That man was putting out creepy vibes. Creepiest vibes imaginable. Wait, this guy or the other guy? Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Oh, God, bro. Who talks like that? 41st single. Dang. 
Pay cash only. Sure, I'll pay. Yeah. Room number nine right over there. $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Dang, I'm rich! Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take kindly. Uh, take very nice to sit to it. Okay. Lovely place here. I love your uh, art. Okay. I can't pick up my stuff. Um, but yeah, okay. Room number nine, huh? I'm gonna try my best to, to not wake all the guests. Holly, Holly, Holly. Dad, I may have to stay at the motel for the night. Okay. Aiden, Aiden. Why is there still no phone service here? Okay, where, where are the numbers? How do I know? Are they right here? 10, oh, nine. They go right to left. I don't like that. It's nice and warm inside. Except there was a small, there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses. There's no mattress! I hear something. Frick, bro! Huh? Tommy? What you planting in here, huh? I'm not taking a shower in here, bro. Oh, frick, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, God. Tommy, please. Tommy, please, I'm sorry. Wait, hold up. Give me a sec here. Oh, I locked us in, Tom. Frick, bro! The game's not expecting me to do stupid stuff like this. There you go. S screw you, Tommy. Bro, I knew he was... Hello? Oh. Up and over. Why can I see through? Okay. Um... I thought maybe I could hide in there while we like cleans, right? Cause he's not cleaning, bro. I just paid this guy $90 to freaking kill me pretty much. So when I say get my stuff, like what am I supposed to do with it? Can I put it in these? I'll just, hey, oh, thank you. Just gotta set my stuff up on the bed here. I'm gonna get everything, okay, Tommy? All right, thanks, get out. I had a word with Joe about the situation. How did you even manage to talk to someone? What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He he he. Anyone that laughs, but you have a good night. Get out of here. Get out of here, Tommy. I'm gonna watch your ass. I wanna see where you go. I wonder what happens if I try and wake up other guests. Turn on the TV, bro. No way. Did I leave this open? 
What this bastard do, bro? Okay, I remember this. I remember this from the first game, bro. There was a there was a guy at the door, and this time I think he's gonna come here and I gotta hide in that closet. Okay, I'm gonna put my stuff where I think I don't need to stand. Yo, I'm getting ready, bro. I'm getting ready. Bro, he he packed a lot for just a gaming convention. Or she did. Okay. Gotta get this ready, bro. Okay, what was he doing, bro? Is there cameras here? I don't want to take a shower. Oh, bro, they're probably up in those vents. Yeah, bro, if there's ever a vent right above the shower, nah. Nah, bro. Nah. Hey! Hey! Get up! Call it a foresight, but there's something very off about this place. Uh-uh. 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 The feeling tiredness was overcome by Xenia. How do I make a hot cup of coffee? Ooh, right here. This is gross, I'd never, I don't drink coffee now, and nor would I ever take it from a vending machine at a motel. Bro, this is drugged, 100%. Someone's watching TV in there. Oh my god, I'm drugged. I'm drugged. I'm drugged. Get to your room. Get to your room. The controls are messed up. Go. Get they're inversed. Get to the room. Get to the room. Get to the room. Get to the room. To the room. We're we're not sleeping. We're hiding in here. Close it, 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 close it. Okay, I think we just have to sleep. Guys, never, never do this. People are messed up, man. Tommy's gonna be standing right over me or something, dude. Three eighteen a.m. It's not even morning, man. I was sedated. Wait a second. Wait a second, bro. Didn't feel safe going out. There's someone right there. What do I do? Grab the skateboard. Bitch, you better watch out. Hey. Dumbass. Get out from there. to play this whole thing again all right this time i will not open the thing i know people are in but like what am i supposed to just not notice they're there that's even creepier dude i'd be getting the skateboard ramming him in the face um i did throw all my stuff on the bed this time uh that's my bad but all right <clears throat> i was sedated what happens this time. I imagine maybe I go back to sleep. 
Imagine waking up and seeing that shit. Okay, the phone's not... Phone's chilling. Didn't feel safe going out. Maybe I have to go to the bathroom or do I go back asleep? I don't want to close the door. I'll just go back to sleep, right? Nothing else to do. Bro. Do, what do I do? <laughs> Is that the game? Does it just want me to kill myself? How do you not feel safe going? Hey, is this... Guys, this is, this is a big thing. I'm gonna open it. What? I'm not... I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought uh, we'd have a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. So, wait. Is that his apartment way over there, then? Oh my god, that's his apartment, bro. What if I'm leading Joe and I open up the door? Maybe Joe doesn't know about Tommy. Joe, you are slow, bro. Come on. So Joe doesn't know about Tommy. Or maybe that's not even Tommy, dude. Joe, hurry your ass up, bro. Go back to the room. I said go back now. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Okay, no, they are... Why would they... I don't understand, bro. These sick freaking dicks, they just have fun making me paranoid and everything because... Now, medication... I'm not taking medication. I can't even see. Is he gone? Bro, I'm going to bed. I'm not... I'm not sleeping, dude. Why are the blinds up? Okay, I guess we have to take the random medication. Holly. You are stupid. Why would you ever take these, Holly? Maybe aspirin, maybe it's like, uh, yeah, maybe it's aspirin. I don't know. But wh why? No, even. What the? If this is real, Holly, you are the stupidest person I've ever met on this planet. You're dumbass in there. Oh my gosh, dude. You stupid.
Hello. What do I do? Hello, sir. Fine, sir. Hello. I just need to talk to you, I swear, I'm not a cop. Pretty lady cop. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been a home to a cult, a drug ring, or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year and never went along road trips again. I would always take airplanes. So that wasn't even Tommy. That was just someone else. Bro, Tommy be weird too. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> I was about to open the door and run when I saw him in the bathroom, but good job, Joe, bro. Good, good Joe. You should have got the police involved, but hey, at least you helped me, bro. At least you helped me. Good, that was good. That was fun. Even like Five Nights at Freddy's didn't like creep me out like that. So I, I just, you know, these games get me and I'm hoping the new Outlast will too. Uh, it's a good job. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of the no checkpoints just because uh, while there was an autosave, it still felt like it wasn't the best, you know? I, I didn't want to replay everything. Even right now, I want to go back and make noise in the closet to see what it did, but I'm not going to do that. But I say, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like. Um, when these episodes do come out, I'll probably play them. Uh, and if you have any other horror recommendations, please let me know. Uh, some of you have given to me, given them me, but I just... I checked them out and they're not that scared of me. So, uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.